what's up you guys welcome back to my youtube channel so i got some things to tell you guys um and like i said i like to share good when i'm not doing so good but overall today's video i want to talk to you guys i'm just put it like that so um as you can see, I got my smiley face hat on and um, this reminds me to always smile. Um, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe, like this video. And if you can relate to, you know, what I'm telling y'all, comment down below. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing wrong with, you know, chatting it up. There's a lot of people out there who are going through what I've gone through. Um, so the topic is anxiety, right? Um, if y'all have not seen my previous videos, I talk about anxiety, um, how it started, you know, you know, just updates on my anxiety. And today is another update video. Um, I kind of want to tell you guys some things, how my last week or two been going. Um, so pretty much to just catch you guys up, I've been going through anxiety since August of 2020 um, pretty much had my first panic attack in August of 2020 and ever since then my life has been down in a downhill spiral um, I've been back and forth to the emergency for things that I kind of over exaggerated in my head because a lot of people don't understand that when you have anxiety it's hard to kind of pinpoint what's going on what's happening with the body you never felt these different sensations before and you kind of think you're losing your mind okay so people who don't go through anxiety can't relate they won't know so with that being said we in january now 2021 and i think i have finally got my anxiety under control um and i'm gonna let you guys know how so I came to a conclusion, right? I just recently figured out I had health anxiety because I was new to this anxiety thing. I'm like, what anxiety? I know it's like when you're anxious and, you know, a lot of people have different type of anxieties. A lot of people go outside. They can't be in a crowd. Um, a lot of people, um, you know, can't be in front of public people. Like they can't talk in front of people. People get anxious in different situations. So pretty much... I was looking at this video one time and this girl is ex explaining like the different symptoms that I was having. Pretty much the symptoms that I've been having lately is tension headaches. I've been going through headaches. And of course, for people who suffer with anxiety, you're going to think the worst. You're going to be like, okay, am I going through something? Is something wrong with me? Because I got these headaches, you know what I'm saying? So with my headaches, I started feeling these headaches in October. Um, pretty much it was like tingling in the face, um, you know, crawling like your scalp and stuff, headache or whatever, whatever. I went to the emergency. They told me I had tension headache. They sent me home. They was like, we are not going to put you in no type of MRI because obviously with anxiety, you know, a lot of times we want to get tested. We want to see a specialist. We want to go through these different tests and all that. And at this point now that I think I'm like, I'm grateful that I haven't ran to just get an MRI because I felt one, a pain here or a pain here. And then now I'm like, oh my God, you know, I'm anxious. So, you know, because a lot of times doing those type of things, you know, it does, the doctors do know what they're talking about. They don't want to, um, just put you through radiation just because, you know what I'm saying? It got to be some logical reasons, not because... It's in your head because a lot of people go through headaches, right? So if anybody's going through tension headaches, comment below in this video. Let me know if you're going through tension headaches. But anyways, um, so moving forward, um, I started getting headaches again. It subsided. It went away. The tingling went away, whatever, whatever. It subsided. And then it came back the, uh, like around December because the last time I've been to the emergency room, let me tell y'all, because I've been to the emergency rooms from August 2020 up until December the middle of December 2020 I didn't went at least once or twice every month maybe even more than that for every little thing heart stomach ears 
you name it, I didn't went there and got checked out. Thank God, I'm very grateful that blood work has came back great every time. You know, it's just stress of doing that. It takes a toll on you. You get a lot of stress on your body, along with the pandemic, along with working from home. A lot of things, you know, we have to understand that we in a stressful time in life. And we have to understand how to deal with that. Because, like, I was talking to my grandfather and he was, like, kind of, you know, I was kind of explaining to him, like, yo, I was like, I'm proud of myself. I haven't been to the emergency room in over 30, 30 days, pretty much a month. And that's big for people who go through anxiety because the last five to six months was pretty rough for me you know what i'm saying and kind of always be, being that girl who was always happy go lucky and always you know just love life and just love living very grateful and very thankful for everything that i have and stuff like that when anxiety hit me it hit me like a ton of bricks i went through depression crazy anxiety crazy so i think when i had my first anxiety attack in august um it set me off like i it's like I went on, I went to the race running, like anxiety, anxiety, anxiety. Oh my God, oh my God, something is wrong with me. I'm going to die. Fear of this, fear of that, fear of all of this, right? So, um, pretty much, sorry if this video is all over the place, but hopefully I get my point across and you guys understand where I'm coming from. Um, because at the, at the end, it's, it's going to be some light to the story. So anyways, um, Around December 14th or so, I think was the last time I've been to the, I went to the emergency room because I went for heart palpitation. My chest was feeling tight. I had previously had a CT scan because I had um, tonsillitis. And then me thinking tonsillitis was going to turn into something that else, like my lymph nodes are swollen. I'm thinking all these, these things. So I had to do a CT scan and then I got allergic to the dye. And then I had a really bad allergic reaction. I broke out really bad. And then I started feeling like, oh my God, um, that dye is going to kill me. Like what? And then I started Googling and looking up YouTube videos and what the dye could do to you. Can it do this? Can it do that? And that kind of stressed me out along with everything else that was already stressing me out. So I had to come to some type of conclusion like, Keisha, you cannot keep living like this. You have to get yourself together because this is not you this is not how you want to live your life you don't want to overstress yourself you don't want to put yourself through all this stuff so stop overthinking and it's hard to do that when your mind is kind of racing so um around that time i started my my headaches came back so they came back heavy like throbbing in the front of my head the first two days i had to like lay down I needed to turn the light off, the TV off. I just was exhausted, stressed out. So I'm like, oh my God, my headaches is back. What's going on? And then, you know, I'm stressed out for, a, for the first few days. And then boom, my jaw starts hurting. And I noticed that I looked up like jaw pain and all this stuff. Because all of this connected. I started having really bad neck pain, back pain. I have bad posture anyway. So um, my neck was so so like I just was like oh my god my neck hurts so bad the back of my neck the back of my head um so that went on for for days and days pretty much up until now or maybe a few days ago or so is when it subsided like a lot of the pain has subsided and I'm gonna tell you how and what I've been doing um for me to get to where I'm at right now and I have a long way to go um, every day I'm working on myself to be the best version of me. I try not to let um, negative thoughts last in my head too long. Um, I may address them thoughts and then I kind of just swipe them left like you on Tinder. Swipe them thoughts left and start thinking positive and just eliminate those thoughts. Because once you start lingering with those thoughts, it's kind of going to take your anxiety back up. And I don't, want, I don't want my anxiety to go back up. I need it to just stay down there. And let me cope. Let me deal with what's going on with me. And let me get my mind right. So anyways, headaches been lasting. So pretty much I came to a conclusion, right? And I had a doctor's appointment yesterday. So I spoke to my doctor yesterday. And I was like, doc, I came to a conclusion. Because I wrote down some notes, right? 
I have wrote some notes down in my book and I pretty much start jotting down when I got my headaches. Okay, I got my headache around this time. This is when I was stressed about this. I was worrying about this and the headache came along. Okay, um, this time I was worried about this. This is when the headache came along. Okay, boom. All right, put two and two together when I'm stressed and your anxiety goes through the roof. Obviously, it's, it's going to go into, I think it's flight or fight mode pretty much. So it's like your body is trying to fight whatever you feel anxious about and it's trying to protect you. So it's going to make you, you know, um, react in a certain way. It's like alarms, like the bell rings for school and it's a, like it's a fire and the bell rings and then everybody starts moving around and like just going crazy. That's how your mind starts moving. Your mind starts going crazy. You start feeling, you know, some crazy sensations or whatever. So, boom. I talked to my doctor. And I said, hey, doc. I, I've been having headaches. And he's like... So, I pretty much ran down the story. I told him, you know, my headache started th this time. It subsided for some time. Then it came back. But I came to the conclusion that around those times that my headaches was coming... Um, it was because I'm stressed out and I have to acknowledge that, that I'm stressed and I need to work on that and that I have anxiety and I need to work on that and to understand that it's going to be okay. Um, and anything that's going to happen is out of my control. I cannot control everything, but I can control my mental. I can control what I do with my body, how I take care of myself. Um, so he said, Wow, you you like kind of going to put me out of a job because everything you're saying totally makes sense. So back to the TMJ, right? So the jaw, I started having like jaw pain or whatever. So I'm like, okay, let me Google that. Even though I've been trying to stay away from Google. So I'm like, let me Google that. Google tells me TMJ. I'm like, okay, I never heard of TMJ, but I do have locked jaw. So I noticed that when I get anxious, I grind my teeth and I'm pretty much um believe that I do that at night too so that can cause headaches too because your jaw and I was crunching on a lot of hard stuff which I have stopped doing been eating a lot more soft stuff crunching on hard stuff kind of like you know irritates your jaw and stuff like that so I started kind of changing what I was eating eating a lot more softer stuff kind of making sure I'm not grinding my teeth being aware of you know the you know my jaw doing exercises to help with the pain um doing self massages you know look on youtube it's a lot of um videos that will help you massage your body and stuff like that you could do it yourself or you could go get massages um i've ordered a self massage hopefully it comes soon um, that helped me get the kinks out my back because like I said, I do have bad posture on top of stress, on top of anxiety. I've also lost my aunt to COVID um, a week and a half ago. So, you know, a lot has been going on with your girl. Okay. And um, like I said, my tension headaches, my neck, everything was so achy. So um, what has been helping me the last week and a half is what I've been doing. I've been... I don't want this video to be too long. So um, what I've been doing is making a routine for myself because the pain has went from the middle to the side, to the side, to the back. It radiates to the front. It is in behind the ear, my eyes. It's in my ears. So along with TMJ, on top of stress, on top of everything else, I kind of came to a conclusion like, okay, take a moment, take a step back and think why you having these headaches and then try to eliminate why you having these headaches which is hard to not stress but listen don't stress it is what it is like you can't stress too much so for one i make sure i have a routine so my routine is pretty much what i do is i get up in the morning i do yoga stretch my body first thing in the morning before i eat anything then I'll go eat something healthy, oatmeal, i do a smoothie, something healthy I put in my body, make sure I'm drinking a lot of water, um, and then I work out. Um, and then after working out, 
I'll take a hot shower, get dressed, maybe do some shopping, go outside, get some things I need to get. I'll come back, I'll eat lunch slash dinner. Um, and then I'll do yoga again. I pretty much try to do yoga three times out the day um, because stressing your body is really important. Also going for walks. I started going for walks because I didn't want to keep seeing, staying stuck in the bed and just being depressed. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, I got to do something. I got to get a routine back because I'm not going outside and, and going to work no more. I'm actually working from home. So a lot of the times I find myself when I get into these depression states, I stay stuck in bed and then my posture is bad. I'm on my phone a lot. So when you're on your phone a lot, you tend to, you know, this back here, you know, just not, it's not aligned right. So I'm on my phone a lot. I'm in bed. I'm slouching and stuff like that. So I've been trying to sit up straight. Um, just little things that is going to help me um, tremendously. So the pain in my neck has gone down a lot, which I'm so grateful and thankful for that. So every little thing that eases off, I'm like, thank you. I'm grateful. I may still have headaches. I still do. Um, but they're very light. Sometimes they're in the back. Sometimes they're in the front. Um, you know, they come and go. But I try to ignore it. Also, if you guys look for this book, um, Hope and Help for Your Nerves and Anxiety Now. I'm actually reading this book. I started reading it last night. It's by Dr. Claire Weeks. It's really good. Um and it'll help you really understand your nervous system and how your nerves, like people with bad nerves, it, it'll, it'll just take over your whole body. So if you implement those things, don't think you're crazy because you're going through headaches. You know, you're going to have some times, it, it'll be times or thoughts sometime when I go back to thinking is something wrong, but then I eliminate that thought really quick. I'll get up and do something. I'll go talk to somebody or I just go do yoga to get my mind off of it. I stretch or I go for a walk. I go outside, but I do not let that thought linger for too long. So hopefully this video is helpful to let you guys know that you're, you're not alone. I have been going through it, but there's hope at the end. There's a light at the end of the tunnel and you will get through it. Um, just be patient. Understand that, you know, as long as you have put the stress on you, it'll take probably triple or double the time to get off of you. And for me, it's like, okay, at first I'm like, okay, I got to get this. This headache is still here. It's still here, but it subsided. But I'm still thinking about the little pain, you know, because you focus on that pain so much. You, you feel every little thing. So I'm like, do not focus on that. Um, it has subsided some. So obviously... It's not serious. I had tender scalp. I was doing self massages with my scalp. It was so tender in the in the middle here. There's like so much stress built up on top of my shoulders. Like I'm holding the world on top of me, right? So, um, okay, yeah. So, hopefully this video helps you guys. I'll do another video, um, being more specific on my days and you know how I get through my days but this video pretty much covered that um so try to stay sane y'all I know it's hard there's a pandemic going on it's a lot going on the world is totally different we didn't it's like the world didn't flipped upside down and it just took us for a loop and um anxiety could get the best of you right but we will fight it like we fighting everything else we will get through it um so I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Love you guys. Love is key. Love is you. Love is me. And I'm going.